My name is Eric Benish, and I'm the lead feature designer for NBA 2K10. If you didn't purchase the draft combine, you're going to go ahead and start right off in the summer leagues. Uh, you're going to start off as an undrafted player since you didn't, you know, you didn't play the combine. You weren't able to go through the draft, so your road is going to be a little more, a little more uphill to, uh, to, you know, to make it to the team than someone who might have played through the draft combine. So when you first start this mode, you're going to be in the summer circuit. Um, you know, we have completely authentic uniforms for this. We have an authentic environment. So, you know, we want people to feel like what they're playing is real. You know, it's really important for us. This entire my player mode is to make people feel like they're playing something that's believable. Um, and as you play through the summer circuit, whether or not you advance beyond this time period depends on how you perform. If you perform really well, you know, your team's obviously going to want to invite you into their training camp. So if you don't perform well, you know, in the summer league, your, your, your career is going to kind of hit a standstill, but you might get some offers from the NBA D-League teams. And, you know, doing that is, a, is yet another way to make the final goal of making the NBA. Um, but first and foremost, if you do perform well in the summer circuit, you will get that invite to training camp. A training camp consists of, you know, your team inviting 20 players to camp, while they can only keep 15 players on the roster. So, training camp consists of five games, you know, set out over five days, so every day is one game. And at the end of every day, the team is going to cut a player from the roster. And obviously the real goal is for you to make the team. And so the drama comes in that every day you need to perform well enough, you know, you need to impress the coaches and the GMs and the scouts on that team, you know, to, to keep you around. And that's really the challenge in this, this experience. So if, you, if your career doesn't go exactly as you'd plan and you kind of find yourself in the D-League, you know, it's still a great opportunity for you to work hard and to, you know, to get that Gatorade call up. And it's, it's a really important thing to, you know, play the best you can. When you get to the D-League, you're not going to have a lot of minutes and you're going you're to need to play well. You're going to need to press the coaches and the staff on the D-League team to give you more minutes. And as you do that, that'll give you the chance to shine. And if you play well enough for a longer period of time, NBA teams are going to start to look at you. And if they do that, you know, you might find yourself with a 10-day contract offer. And that's when you get your opportunity to shine. But you only have 10 days to do it when they do it. So you got to buckle down and, and, and play hard. So advancement in this mode is determined by how you play on the court as a teammate. It's not about going out there and taking every shot and getting 20 points and, or getting 40 points. It's about being the best teammate you can. And being a good teammate is represented by our teammate grade feature that we have this year. It rewards good play, good passes, good shots, you know, good positioning on the court. It frowns upon ball hogging, taking any shot, or just making bad passes, or just committing anything that's not in the best interest of your team. So the NBA teams aren't looking necessarily for you to go put up a bunch of stats. They're looking for someone who's going to fit in with their team. And I think that's what really separates our career mode from anything else is that while it is about you, it's about you being a true player, not just being the star of the team. So, you know, NBA teams aren't looking for a star coming out of the D League. They're looking for someone who can fill a role. And once you fill that role, you can start to grow yourself as a player and become an NBA All-Star. We offer over 30 different roles for you to play based on your position type. Um, the type I'm currently playing is a point forward, kind of in that Lamar Odom role. And it's a different type of way to play the game. Um, you know, we don't, we don't force you to those paths. But this is, you select your role when you first start the mode. And you do have the option of becoming the player that you want to be, but we definitely guide you down the path of the role you pick. The ultimate goal in this is not to make the NBA, because once you make the NBA, your career is just starting, you know? You can play poorly enough, you can get sent down to the DL. It's like your career is going to take you through all kinds of different paths. And the really important thing here to remember is that not everybody's career is going to be the same. Some people are going to make, you know, training camp. Some people aren't. Some people are going to make the NBA out of training camp. Some people are going to get cut on the third day of training camp. So this is uh, NBA 2K10, and it's releasing on October 6th, and we're shipping it on every known platform, basically. We're doing uh, PSP, PS2, PS3, 360, Wii, PC. You have the platform, we're making the game for it.